Right, example one. Nelson, Nelson, you see, <laughs> just look at this Nelson, hey. He <laughs> bought a DVD player, now you're gonna watch. Watch this, watch right. this, guys. <laughs> Let's see the story here. Nelson buys a DVD player for 9,800. He takes out a higher purchase loan involving equal monthly payments over three years. The interest rate charged is 14% per annum, simple interest. He also takes out an insurance premium of 1035 cents per month to cover the cost of damage or theft. Okay, so 9,800 Rand for the DVD player. He's taking it on HP. There's a bit of insurance involved in this thing. Okay, now what's the first question? Right, let's look at the first question. Calculate the amount paid for the DVD player. And then, remember we've got the formula here. The amount paid for the DVD player, when we do substitution P, remember? It's 9,000, the original amount there is 9,800. Then you have got interest of 14% converted into decimal, remember, it's 0 0.14, and number of years is three, right? The amount of this after the interest is 13,916. Guys, 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 Nelson was ripped off 13,916 and the thing cost 9,800 Rand. Yeah. I don't know about you, that is crazy. It would have been far better to have cash. cash yeah. I thought maybe he wanted the DVD player, so we can accept that. Yes, but it, yeah. But look at what the, look at what he lost. Look at this. Nelson, have a look here. If right. You go, now, calculate the interest paid. We got 13,916, subtract the original amount. Or the price for the DVD, then which is 4,116. He paid an additional so amount of 4,116. Yeah, crazy. You see how they make money, these people. You see, it's, so it, it, it's too much of it's crazy. Okay, what's the next question? Right, let's look at the second one. Calculate how much must be paid each month. Right, you get 13,916. Remember the original amount of 9,800 plus 4,116, which is the additional amount, is 13,916. Then you divide by the number of months in three years, which is 36 months in three years. Then you will have to pay 386.56 cents a month. Okay, so 386.56 per month but now he also pays an insurance premium you see the insurance is in case something goes wrong so you see how these guys make money off you you know they know people can't pay 9,800 rand so you go on higher purchase over three years no problem who's making the money is obviously the people yeah. setting this to you and then of course the insurance adds on and you know many people don't even think about this it is so oh. much better to do it on cash but let's have a look at the insurances built in Okay, if we add in the monthly insurance premium, the total amount to be paid each month is? Right, 386 plus the monthly insurance 1035, which is 396.91. Okay, right, let's have a look at a second and final example in this lesson. Okay, Moira buys a laptop priced at 14,000 Rand. Okay, she takes out a 12 month which is one year, higher purchase agreement. And again, she now is going to pay a deposit of 20% and the interest charge on the balance is 15% per annum simple interest. What will she actually pay for the laptop and what will her monthly payments be? Okay, right. What's the deposit? 20%, remember 20 divided by 100 is 0 0,2 of 14,000 gives you 2,800. So what does she actually have to pay, Nelson? Then now it's, this is the deposit. Now the balance on the higher purchase is, you take the price for the item, you subtract the deposit. Now you have to pay 11,200, but before the interest. Eh? Okay, so you see, so what we've got is we've got the cost, which is 14,000 Rand, she pays her deposit, and she owes 11,200 Rand. So she's got to still pay back 11,200 Rand. It's simple interest, so how much on that is she actually going to pay on the 11,200 Rand? 
over it. Now remember, it's a 12-month period, and when we deal with the formula, we always work in years. Yeah. So let's now grow the money. Let's make the company rich. Okay, <laughs> she's getting yeah. poorer, and yeah, let's see what happens. This is yeah. cool. Let's go for it. Ha. Okay. Now, watch that. Into the formula we go, Nelson. 11,200. It's the original one plus, amount for P. Yeah, very, very important. And must then, be in years. Don't yeah. put in 12. They'd love you to put in 12, but it's yeah. one year. Okay, must yeah. be in years. Okay, what do we get? Look at that. 12,880 yeah. Rand. Okay. So, Moira will actually pay. Do not have a heart attack. Watch this. The deposit. Plus. Plus. 12,880. Whoa, a whopping 15,680. That is a lot of money. Okay, lot, yeah. again, you notice um, she's paying, you know, all that interest there, which is a bit of a pain. Okay, and then obviously, if we if you look at what she pays per month, okay, her monthly repayments will be obviously the 12,880 divided excluding by 12. The deposit. Yeah, and very yeah. important, excluding the deposit there because that's already been paid. Right, yeah. And she's going to pay a thousand rand, or thousand and seventy-three comma three three. Okay, guys. Um, what we want you to do is to pause the DVD, and we will and do activity two, and we'll see you in a while. Guys. Good activity. Important thing here, higher purchase. If you go and buy a laptop, rather save up cash and go and buy it. Because you know what's nice is you can actually negotiate cash. You know, you walk in with cash, you can actually say, listen, can you give me a discount for the laptop? And they probably will, because cash is, you know, cash is king. The thing is, if you're gonna take out a three-year loan, it's crazy, you're gonna pay all that interest. And what's worse is if you wanna go the next day, say for example, granny gives you some money and you wanna go and pay off that thing, you know what's gonna happen? You yeah. still have to pay the pay full amount now. of interest. It is really, really making people rich and people don't think about that. So I would say delayed gratification. Hey Nelson, yeah. <laughs> we are gonna wait and save up cash yeah. and we're gonna go and buy that thing. So that's the moral of this of this lesson. and. Um, any comments from your side? Right, okay. Uh, from my side, I may say, if you need an item desperately, because sometimes it happens, yeah. Yeah. you know, at least have enough deposit to yeah. can reduce yeah. the yeah. cost. Absolutely. So when the interest are charged, I mean, you're going to pay less. Less Absolutely. than yeah. having nothing as a deposit. Yeah, very, very I mean. real world stuff, this guys. It's going to affect you in your life. Yeah. And um, until next time, guys, we're gonna we're gonna start compound interest, but until next time, have a great day, and we'll meet again. Cheers. Bye, cheers. Summary: In this lesson, you learned what the formula is for calculating simple interest, how higher purchase agreements work.